Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Twisted Paper Studio. How are you? I hope everyone is well. Thank you for joining me today. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Donna Twist and um, I'm Twisted Paper Studio. I love to mix paper and fabric together and um, I share with you um, the ideas that come to my kooky brain. So welcome if you're new. Um, thank you for my crafting buddies that have been following me this whole time. Um, and you guys comment and like my videos and I inspire you and, and I'm, I'm really, really happy about that. So thank you. Um, I do give beautiful blessings out to, um, my commenting viewers and those that I know that are there. Um, if you'd like to comment on any one of my videos, um, it's okay. You don't have to, but if you'd like to, I do give out and share beautiful blessings with you. So today I'm wishing beautiful blessings to Deborah Robertson, Donna Vintage Snippets, and Sandra Louise at Mama's Too. Beautiful blessings to you ladies. Um, and beautiful blessings to my girlfriend Leslie over at 507 Willow House Journals. Beautiful blessings, Leslie. All right, so let's get started. Oh, wait, first I gotta set my timer. Oh gosh, a few quirky things about me. You'll notice that I always forget to set my timer and I always forget my words and uh, you'll see. <laughs> okay, so we are gonna get started here. One of my viewers actually told me that she watched one of my videos. I want to I have to go back and look who it was that said it, but sweetest thing ever said that she was resting in bed and she um, watched my video and she had to get up out of bed. It was a horrible video because it made her get up out of bed and go get all her crafting supplies. <laughs> I thought that was the sweetest compliment. I'm going to go look to see. I can't I get so many comments that I just can't remember the names sometimes. And sometimes names are new to me. So within my, with my new followers. So I will get to know you eventually, my crafting buddies. Okay. So we're going to still work with this here. Um, but today we're going to make things out of the things that we make. So I'm just going to do this one little one to show my viewers the new viewers, or maybe if you haven't seen the video yet and you're just hopping on and you see this video. Uh, I did use paint the other day. I used red, blue, and black. Today I have some different kinds of paint. I have some Waverly chalk paint. Tiny little bottles of Waverly chalk paint. They're about, they're about $1.50 per bottle. And I got mine in Walmart. I'm sure that you can find them at your local craft store as well. So, um, Let's see, we'll do this in, in some gray. Oh no, let's do it in like a burlap color. Let's see, um, this color is called sandstone. We'll do it in sandstone. Actually, you know what? I haven't done one in purple yet. Let's do it in purple. <laughs> it's the only color I didn't do. This is lavender. I did all the other colors and I will show you guys in just a second. It's a lot of fun, and I did, I'll just show you some different things. Now, um, I'm going to go out on my phone in a second and find the viewer that said that cute little comment because at first I gasped because they said it was a horrible video, so I was like, oh my gosh, oh no, why is this person saying this? Because, you know, it's scary sometimes with the way people comment on your video, you never... You never know what people are going to say and, you know, try not to take things personally, but I am here to share my, you know, share my stuff and my brain and share to the world um, through content making what it is I'm doing. And I do it all for free. Um, you know, the only thing I, I have in my shop right now is some digitals and some supplies for junk journaling. I will have some journals soon um, to put in my shop, but I'm working on those as well as doing all my content and driving into town every day to upload my content. So sometimes it's a little hard. Okay, 
So I'll let this dry a second and then I'm going to go and find the comment because it was darling and who said it. And then I'm going to go and find the, find the, um, lady on Instagram, which I did put it in my story yesterday, but she used, um, a different technique to color her fabric with. Which is not different, but it's just different from what I did. And I tried it. And I'm going to share it with you in a second. Well, where is it? Uh, oh, duh. Let me just go to the video. Ay, ay, ay. If I go to the video, then, then maybe I can find it. It's so cute. <laughs> I'm sorry for putting you on the spot. Um, let me see. Oh, Sue Chesley. <laughs> Sue. <laughs> she said, this is a terrible video for me to watch when I'm in bed and already sleepy. I had to get up to gather stamps for this project, spilling over with inspiration. Thank you. I'm so glad you're feeling better. Prayers worked. So thank you for your prayers, Sue. <laughs> and then that was so darling. But at first when I saw it, I was like... Oh my gosh, why did she say it's a terrible video? And then the person who used the ink is on, I don't know who you are if you're on, if you're on YouTube, definitely respond to my video and let me know so I can know your name on YouTube. But it's Eureka Von Wolven, U-L-R-I-K-A V-O-N-W-O-W E R N. She did my. She did these little um, faux, faux fabric, and um, she used. I'll show you in a second. Let me blow dry this really quickly. It'll chalk paint dries quickly. Okay, and then um, I'm going to show you what. I'll do the other line and then I'll let it dry on its own to the side. Maybe I'll, I say I'm going to cut out this noise, but then it takes me too long to edit the video. I just want to, when I get into town, I just want to upload it. <laughs> I want to sit there and edit it. I'm going to do a really skinny line. Skinny mini. Make sure I get it as straight as I can. But you know what? Sometimes it, it kind of doesn't matter because the wove of the fabric also does a little curve. <laughs> so sometimes it doesn't quite matter. Okay. And you just need a tiny little bit of paint. You don't need a lot of paint. All right. So I'm going to close this up because we already have a video that I show that I do that. Okay. I'm pushing this back. Clean this up, and then I will set this on the side to dry, and we'll take a look at it when we're done, if I remember. The purple. I need to find a place for it. I got so many things going on. Okay, so today... We're gonna, I figured we would make something from all the things that we made. And then here, so these are the ones I made with the Wave Burly paint. Didn't they come out pretty? Here's another one. And then this was gray. Uh, and green. And mauve like no so i'll give you the names of the colors if you want to write them down or rewind it and so you know which ones i used into gray <coughs> okay so the colors that i have here on my desk this is celery and this is sandstone and this is steel gray and 
That's it. I don't think I did anything else. Actually, I did do something else, but I'll show you that in a minute. And I have cashew, ballet slipper, and lavender. Those are the colors I have that I've been working with, that I will have stuff with it on there. Okay. So now this one is not a color that I said because it's ink. It's like, it's Frayed Burlap Ink by Tim Holtz. So how it's a little hard to, no, it's not hard. It's not hard at all. It's just, um, here, we'll do one. It's out, cause I'll show you. It's not hard. It is um, messier, I found. I like the results though. I do. I'm not complaining. It's just messier than pink. I'm um, messier than pink. Messier than paint. Um, because the ink, you know, the ink. I guess I could dry the ink with the... Well, maybe it wouldn't be so messy if I dried the ink. I wasn't trying to dry the ink. I think that's what happened. So, I just took my... Um, you know, the dauber. And then I rubbed it like that I didn't dry it maybe that's why that's why I thought it was messier because it's because it, you know when ink gets on you it doesn't come off so that's that's how the ink comes on here just like that and then you know you can make your little line too or leave it with one line I thought that was really cool neat idea um, I did give you her name on Instagram. I I do not know if she follows me on YouTube. Um, she must, but I don't know her name if she commented. Okay, so the ink was really cool. And then um, there was another thing I did with the ink that I thought was really cool. And I will, here, I want this to dry. Do I have my dryer? Oh, I do. Okay, good enough. Okay, so we'll do it on this one. And I need, um, let me get my handy dandy copy paper. That's what we'll do it on. All right, so we're going to make um, some tags out of these today. And I figured, how cool would it be? I mean, we could stamp on it, of course. We were stamping on it the other day. But how cool would it be if we did something else on it? Hold on. I'm getting, I'm getting it. How cool would it be if we stenciled on it? So I was thinking, cause that's ink. And then if we did a large base of ink, I mean, I think it would look pretty cool. So I'm just gonna, cause this is smaller piece. It's not gonna fit the whole thing. So I'm just gonna kinda place it on here. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then we'll use this color. This is um, Frayed Burlap by, by um, Tim Holtz. I just got nervous because I don't know if I'm in camera, if I'm in film, but I am because I moved my mat over. So now the square is not where I'm used to. Okay, so let's put this down. And then I, I'm just going to hold it in place. You could tape it too, but I'm going to hold it. We'll see what happens. Um, I kind of don't want it. I want it off center. Okay, let's go. Let's just do it with the frayed burlap. <laughs> I'm just rubbing over the design. Get some more ink. I'm assuming that you don't need too much ink on there because you're just like, you know, getting the silhouette of everything. Okay, let me put my finger here. Stay still as best you can. Make sure I got everywhere. Looks like I did. Okay, let's take a look. Whoops, oh, now you have to wait to see. Ha uh ha, -huh. no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, that looks so cool. All right, I gotta clean up my stamp here, so my stencil. 
this is what I mean about the ink. <laughs> the, the, um, you know, the masking tape you could just throw away. <laughs> I like that. Throw the masking tape away. Okay. All right. So that's that. How cool. Let's see. We have this one. So this is the one I did that I tried it on. And this is the cashew color. I like that color. All right. And then another thing I thought of. <laughs> don't think I'm weird, okay? I have a piece of burlap here. And then I, <laughs> I did it on a piece of ledger paper. I painted it. It's a little hard to do it on the ledger paper. I have to tell you because I used washi tape. I wasted washi tape. I really like the washi tape that I used. So um, don't waste washi tape if you like it because your heart will just melt. <laughs> and then, um, but I did. I, I, I did it on a piece of ledger paper and I figured we can make like a little tag out of it. So I ripped it. I ripped it a tiny bit, but that's okay. Let's, um, let's fix it. I'm going to fix it with some glue first. Try not to get the glue on my mat. Okay. So I ripped it a tiny bit, but we're going to, we're going to fix it. And what I did was bring this up so I didn't have to cut it. And I layered it on some burlap. And I figured we can make a little pocket in the front. And then this can either go down on a page or just be a cute little embellishment in a pocket. Um... Let me just see. I just got the, I was just got the idea to, I saw the ledger paper laying there and I wanted to give it a try. This is the only piece I did, um, but I thought it was cute. And then maybe you could even take, um, let me see. You can glue it on, but I was thinking, hold on, why not? We can use some of these brad things. Could be cute. And put one up in one corner. And then one up in the other corner. Like that. And then you could even, you know, take down, we can glue down the bottom so it stays. Or you could leave it up and then put a message under there. I mean, yeah, let's leave it up in case they want to move it out of the book. But I thought, how cute is that, right? For a page, I mean, it looks darling. And then, you know, you could fill it with anything. You could, do I have anything in front of me? Like you can put stuff in it. Oh, look, I have my granddaughter. <laughs> my granddaughter Stevie, the one who got into all my stuff. In the, I mean, not all my stuff, but <laughs> isn't she cute? I don't know if you could see her. And this coloring is so bad, but she's she's so cute. She's the uh, she is the um, Siberian cat. Oh, let's see. I'm trying to see if I have anything to put in this. I I always end up pulling out the same thing, but just. Look how cute. Like, oh, that's the wrong one. It's too big, but still, it just, you get, you get the gist. Okay, we're going to move on. Move on, darling. You're boring your viewers. You're boring them. Okay, so we have these, right, that we um, stenciled on. So, you could get it together. You could. You could get it together, Donna. Oh, man, where's the tool? I'm looking for the tool. I'm looking, and I found it. Okay. You could take... 
Islamic supplies and make make a tag. Now, this thing doesn't always work well on fabric, but guess what? It does if you painted it. <laughs> if you painted it, it goes right through. Now, my ladies, thank you so much. I used the grommet and I did it the way you said. So it's the top, the top part gets the little prong. And then you put that in and you right yeah I think that's what they said but it worked I did it before and it looks so pretty but anyway look we can make little grain sack tags isn't that cute let's do another one they sh my ladies told me how to do this and I know that I listened like a good student like a good crafting buddy mm. one thing is is this thing there we go. Okay. And we'll put this in here. So we... Okay. So now, this thing goes on the... Am I going to get it right this time? I got it right off video. Okay. So the little hole... The little prong goes on the top. Through the top. Oh, there. Now it's pretty. Okay. See? I believe I did that right, right? <laughs> and then, you know, you can take some, you can take some string and put it in there. Am I going to get it in there? We don't even know. We don't know these things. How cute would this be on a page? Or hanging off a book. I don't really care for the black and white thread. Nope, I don't. <laughs> we'll use it somewhere else. Not that. How about some twine? Twine's always good. Twine works with this because it's like a burlapy type. So I'm just taking the two ends and then tying a little knot. A little knot. Don't mind my hands, you guys. I've been, I've been crafting away. Look how cute. That's a door. I love it. I'll do this one too. And man, and man, I don't know how long this video will be today. I'm just going to keep going until I run out of and thems. <laughs> For today. I still have to go in and upload the video. Okay. How cool. All right. Moving along. Oh, we can even do, you can even like do another stamp, you know? You don't have to stop with this. You could do a number up there. You know, you don't have to stop with just the stencil. You can keep going. This needs to be closed so I don't lose my glue. Okay. This needs to go over here and get it out of the way. All right, let's do this one. All right, we'll do this one. And we'll make two. I like that it rips with the paint. I never thought it would. I thought it would stop at the paint. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Cuckoo. All right, so now we're gonna we're gonna get some words. Let's get some words, shall we? And maybe a different color. This is green, peeled paint. Let's see. And we'll just like put. It, oh, this is very very limey. I don't know. Let me see. Before I put it on there, let me test out the boundaries. Test it out. We'll test it out because I don't know. Oh, I like it. Okay. It almost matches the paint perfectly. All right. So this is peeled paint. Peeled. Peeled paint. 
Where do I want it? How about, how about right there? I love it. Oh wait, maybe we should take a different portion of the stamp, not the same. How cool. I like this. This is this is why my desk is still a mess, you guys. Because of the fact that um I'm playing. I'm playing. That's all I'm doing. Alright. Now. Now. What else? We did this one. I'm trying to see to get a few in a row to do before we do the next thing. Actually, why don't we just do the next thing? Let's see. My next thought was, I can't use that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here, let's go in here. Oh. Dropped tags, you guys. Sorry, that's a spam risk. Just ignore it. Spam risk. My okay, I have this vellum and I have I have some digitals. That's what I have. Um, I have what else? Because we can mix this with digitals, you guys. Yes. Um, I'm trying to see if I have some good stuff. And of course, I have not been printing because I've been painting. <laughs> Come on, give me something. Oh, here's some Roxy creations and stuff. And my stuff. Okay. Let's see. So, this is printed on coffee dyed coffee dyed cardstock that I coffee dyed. Ooh. I forgot about these things. Maybe we can do something with that. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Alright. So, definitely we can do something with this. Um, oh, these are mine. How cute. I forgot about you, too. I forgot all about you guys. All right. Huh. I think we could use this. I'm not 100% certain. It might be too small. And maybe this. This is Rachel at Roxy Creations Kit. I love this kit. I print it and use the whole thing all the time. It's from her Renaissance kit. Okay, so you can take your little, little, yes, that's cute. Maybe that will work. Your little burlap tag, burlap, what's it called? Uh, grain sack tag. And then, and then, <laughs> You can do this on there. Even if you've printed, even after you've printed. I just think it's cute, it's cute focal plate. Is that gonna work there? Yeah. We can make it work there. Can we? I want something else. Maybe. I want something else. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to put this on here so that I can get the just about size and where I want the design that I want on this. That's all I'm doing. And I'm going to put my ruler just a little underneath so I can have a little bit lesser of a size. And then didn't really cut it straight. It's okay. It's all right. This is for demonstration purposes. 
Although I'd like to stop doing demonstration purposes so I can keep the things that I make so I'll stop messing up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's not very many. It's not very many things that I mess up. Okay. All right. So we have all that. And then I am going to clean it up though so I can keep this and it won't go to complete waste because it's not exactly square. So let's get it square. Hey. I'm in a rush. <laughs> Where are you going? Just kidding. Okay. Now, now, we'll put this here like that. Look how cute it looks like. An it's an embellishment. I don't have, we'll use this. Oh yeah, that color comes out much different on paper than it does on the fabric. Okay. And we're going to put this in. So we can either put this in and put brads in all the corners or we can glue, glue, glue it just a tiny bit so it stays in place. And of course, I know it's covering the whole background, but that's okay. It doesn't quite matter. It doesn't. It's like an embellishment. A grain sack tag embellishment. And you betcha. We're going to do these on here. Hopefully they'll go through. Should we try this? I don't know. The la I had troubles with this the last time. I did. All right. Works a little bit. Works, works better than I expected. So I'm just putting little tiny holes in the corners. And then we, we made that, uh, we glued it on so it's, so it's okay. And I'm going to use some brads. Why not? Hundreds come in the thing. <laughs> Might as well use some. I mean, they're, they're not that expensive to rebuy them, you know. So use them. Okay. Here we go. Look how cute. OMG. I think it's adorable. So we made tags, we made like plaques, we made a ledger piece, a ledger paper grain sack. Isn't that cool? <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Shall we? Shall we keep going? Okay, put that up there. Let's take a look and see what it looks like with the... Oh, I like it with the vellum. So... You can even leave this like this and just do the vellum all around. Why not? Okay. I'm going to take this off like this and then I'm going to clean it up with the cutter. And we'll do that again. That was fun. My hands are a mess, you guys. Complete and utter mess. It's okay. I'm okay with it. My I, I had gotten my nails done at Christmas time, which I was so excited about, and I got a gel manicure. Don't ever get a gel manicure. It destroyed my nails. They're so weak. I even filed them off. I didn't. I didn't do anything. I I soaked them. Ugh, horrible. Okay, so I'm going to um, do the same thing. However, we don't have to do that now we can actually let's make it let's make it a tag let's make that a tag with the with the um the grommets let's do that instead of the brads and then it could be a tag let's do that i like that idea um do we want silver or brass or black let's do black that okay all right so I'm just going to kind of 
kind of line this up there. And remember, it, it actually does work when it's painted on the fabric. I'm thinking that's around the center. It's hard to see the center when you have images, uh, images that are not centered. <laughs> Gonna work. I'll do this first. And thank you so much, ladies, that you helped me out with this situation with the scrap dial. I don't know. I'm right now. I'm looking for a tool to like to replace my uh, two-inch circle punch. Anyone know of a tool they could tell me about that? That will get along, you know, like besties. <laughs> we could be besties. Because the one I have now is a, is a, this is not working. Okay, come on now. Work. <sighs> I have to give it pressure. And I don't want it to. There we go. I love it. Isn't that cool? And it's vellum now. Vellum, do I have any? Uh -huh. I don't have anything else. Uh, no. Hold on. I'm taking a look to see. No. I thought I had other stuff in here. To put, I was going to put a little bow. How about a pink bow? Why not? I need to get more of this stuff. I ran out of my white one. I like the um, big fluffy bows. <laughs> I do. Oh, my hands are bad. So my nails are all messed up because of that stuff, that gel manicure stuff. I bet you I run out of stuff so quickly because I use it like a like a freak show. <laughs> I never measure. I'm not going to tie a bow. I'm just going to leave it like that. I like it like that, too. How cute. It looks very cute. It's all stringy. All right, let's move along now. We move along. Okay, there we go. You could even do this in the brads in the four corners if you wanted to. All right, and then I also thought of doing it with paper. So I don't know that I have a piece of paper here in front of me that I could do it on, but um, let me see. Hmm. Oh, and then there's this too. So I print, I also stamped on fabric and you can also place this on fabric like that with the brads all around you the brads in it here I'll show you you could do that um that's because i had some stamped on fabric maybe not with such a big image or maybe with a different color image because it just looks cool that's why. Maybe different colors. Different colored fabrics. I am... I, I forgot what else I was doing. Oh. Yes. Some. How about some stamping on me? On these tags? We'll do that. Well, we did the, the lettering already. Let's do some different ones. How about... Um, 
a fleur de lis. How about that? Now, hopefully, it comes out well because I think I need new black ink. And do I want to use black? Hold on. Let me see. Let's see if I have something else. This is honey almond. I wonder. Oh, that's teal blue. No. Yeah, but I don't have anything that will look good with teal blue. This one I know is juicy. Juicy, juicy. Maybe the no. It's not gonna look good. I need um I need a new black ink. I use it too much. Oh, look at this. I have, I have a new one. It's not, it's not Ranger, but it'll do. All right, let's see how this is going to come out. They weren't coming out that well. I'm like, what's this? Create swatches. No, I don't need to do that. I just need to stamp. Oh, this one's juicy. This is going to work good. All right, let's see. Do I want it on this green? Let's put it on here. Pray to the crafting gods. Um, am I in camera? Oh, no. It's just the fabric. It's the way it's coming out. But that's all right. You know, in my mind, I see it like, like you know, it was printed out of the printer. That's the problem I'm having. <coughs> I want it like that crisp, 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 crisp print. <coughs> so you can even take, um, so now this was. Where's my numbers? Numbers. So you can even just go ahead and put a number down on here. Um, let's see if I have anything close by. Do I? And then you can make the tag thing out of it too. You know, they're just cute tags. Doesn't have to come out perfect. See, now that did. I'm wondering if it's the paint. That's all. Um, you could put more numbers on there. You can put, um, here, let's put this. This is like a French, is it the UK? It's their num 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 numerical number system. We'll put it down here. Oh, we'll make it like a card. <laughs> that looks pretty neat. Okay, so we have that one, and we could put a grommet in there, too. Or you could just attach it to something. All these strings. That's pretty cool. Okay. And then, we have more and then. And then, and then, with these tags, though, you know, for your page, you can do the same thing. And well, I know we did it on the bigger sheets before, but you can just, you know, do your numbers and go down it. But I like the different colors. This is a different color concept than, than the other one. Um, I thought I had some, some, oh, look, we have Paris. Let's do Paris. Let's try it. This one's juicy. I'm gonna. Oh, this is ink, so it's not the paint. Hmm. I wonder. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Try. <sighs> better. So much better. Okay. 
and and then <laughs> that's all I say. Hmm. I'm trying to see. Hmm. Hmm. I'm looking to see if I have anything else. Um. I have this. A look. Just take a look. Oh, it looks pretty. Let's do a um let's do a little bit up at the top. I keep doing that. I'm dipping into the same area. I don't want to get it on anything I just did. Beautiful, beautiful, okay, I think you guys get the gist of this, right, tell me you do, I know you do, and then, <laughs> and then, I'm gonna, oh, oh, that worked, what do you know, um, I, I made such a mess on my desk, I can't find anything, so I'm resorting to whatever I see first. Did you ever do that? Mm. Okay, now we're going to put this in here, and you know what we'll do? We're going to, I'll get some seam binding. Maybe, maybe this is just not for me, this grommet thing. No, it's for me. I love it. I need to go downstairs and wash my hands. I feel like I've been I've playing in the dirt. Oh, you see? Did it work? Okay, it worked. Ah, there you go. That's a tab, too. Look how cute. And then let's get some seam binding. Well, we don't even need seam binding. I had this. We could use this. But I do like the seam binding too. I'm sure that it will look beautiful. Maybe we can do one more. And then, is this going to go through? Okay, yes. No, it took out the brad. Hey now, that's not fair. My hands are a mess. Okay, we're going to try this one more time. I think it's because I didn't, I didn't close it. I didn't like get it really good. Maybe I'm doing it the wrong way. Am I doing it the wrong way? They said, put this down here like this. Oh, maybe I need to switch it. OMG, could you imagine? Could you imagine if that's why? There's a square here. Maybe it was on the too small of one. All right, we're gonna find out. Oh, it, no, it's coming out. Okay, so now what? Guess what? I'm going to fix it myself. My my nail is hurting. Okay. I'm going to fix this dang thing myself. And I'm going to put a piece of paper back there. Because <laughs> I want the brad in it now. Alright. Gluing this down. Thankfully it matches. Closing that up. Getting another brad. We're wasting, we're wasting our beautiful brads. I'm sorry, I don't want that one. And now I'm gonna go get the seam binding because the other thing is a little thick. 
All right, I'm putting this in. That's the top. This is 101 with, with Crocodile. 101. Oh no, the other way. Jeez. Oh, All right, let's go down, please. Thanks. Okay. Whew. So we have, so put a piece of paper back there. If that keeps happening to you guys still. Ay, ay, ay. All right, now let me go get, um, can I use this? I mean, maybe just as long as I, I want a seam binding. Hold on, I'm going to get the seam binding. Hold on. I can't find cream. I couldn't find. I guess I don't have cream. No. Gonna have to use green. I thought I had cream. Oh well. Oh. Oh well. Whatever. It's not my day. Today's not my day. Maybe it'll be tomorrow. I saw a, I saw a meme thing I posted in my story. I thought it was really funny. It said that tomorrow's February first, and they didn't make a go of it on January first, so they're it's gonna they're gonna restart tomorrow. I thought it was funny because I'm kooky. Okay, and we're just gonna tie a pretty bow. Remember to come up over and bring your loop under so that your tails dangle. I love it. And we so now we did these the little little grain sack tags um using paint. We used vellum. <laughs> we used burlap and we did it on the um ledger. Do I have a little what Let me fill it with a little, I have all this stuff to go in my journals, but let's put it in here. We could fill the little, little things, little tags. Look how cute. And look, isn't that adorable? How cute. Oh my goodness. Okay. How cute is that? So door. Okay. So that, 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 that. Paper. We did it on paper and we put the brads all around the four corners. Four corners. And then we did it with stencil and paint. We made a tag. And then this one I had done off camera without you. And then I still have, you know, more. I made so much more that I'll be able to do some more things in my books. All different kinds of linens. And I have all my inks out. And you guys can just go absolutely cry cry. Oh, here's one that I did. I didn't really care for the um, way the stamp had come out. But I thought it was really cute. So this one's the pink. And... Oopsie. The ink got, the other ink got on it. This is the pink and I stamped on it with black. So here we could just use some pink um, butcher's twine and put it in there. And then we'll tie a little bow. We can do that. And I'll show you guys the purple because I didn't forget. Huh. 
how cute, how sweet. But the uh, ink got on it, so I'm gonna have to clean it up somehow. And also, this, so the ink, when you stamp, doesn't quite go well onto the um, paint. Now I just inked on some fabric. I have more, I have more. Move out of the way. Okay, and then where's the purple? Hold on. Okay, so you guys can just, you can use your imagination and definitely do a lot with these little um, grain sock tags. How cute. How cute is this? The purple one. I like the purple one. It's very springy. It's very... Look, you can even um, stamp on the fabric. Uh, I would do a different color. Oh, maybe we can put this behind it. Why not? Ooh, I like that. Hold on. We'll make a spring one. We'll make a little spring. And what can we put right there? Uh, but... How about no? I don't know. I don't want to, you guys. I don't want to do it because I might ruin it. No, I won't ruin it. Hold on. Mm. Can we do? Can we do pink? Ink. Do I even have a pink ink? I don't even know. I do. <laughs> I have a pink ink. Let's see. It's like stuck. Oh, it was stapled on there. Did I do this wrong? Huh? I did. All right. That just means not to do it. I'm not going to do it. I got ink all over my hands. I was going to use pink and put it on there. If I do it, if I do it, I'll post it on Instagram or we'll, we'll see it next time. <laughs> I, I just ruined my thing because I took the... I took the staple out and I'm going to have to try to get this back on there because this holds those little things, but it's so old it was stuck there. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, I hope you have a beautiful, blessed rest of your day. Uh, today is Tuesday and I'm not sure that I'll get a video done tomorrow it is Wednesday. I might. It'll be a surprise if I do. I think I'm going to do one or two more days this week and then one on the weekend. Um, I've been trying to get my videos, uh, all done and then go into town and then, you know, distribute them. I may start doing that next week. Um, but who knows? I have no idea. I'm going to try to get this right. Don't you worry. <laughs> all right. Have a beautiful, blessed rest of your day. Thank you and welcome. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. It'll only take one second and you'll get to see all my videos. And it will let you know when I have it come up, a new video, if you press the little bell. All right. Bye for now, my little crafting buddies.